if you have the guarding system enabled, move to a position in the center of your play space. Mark your starting position and direction with tape. You need 6 feet of free space in front of the starting position. Stand on the X and reset your view. Under Settings, delete your Guardian history. If you're using the Guardian, redraw your play space to the largest size possible. If you would like to map a larger space, check out my YouTube channel on my SideQuest page. Complete your Guardian setup and start the game. If the pass-through doesn't work, double-tap the Oculus Home button to fix it. Select all menu buttons using your left hand. You can skip this step since you already calibrated your boundaries. You do not need to reset your view. Select a save file. Keep this space clear of any objects or walls that you spawn. Touch place walls with your left controller. Select basic setup for single floor gameplay. Select basic setup since we're only mapping a single floor. Now let's place the walls. The walls are used for AI navigation and occlusion. In order to place the walls, touch the floor, and while you're touching the floor, hit X to spawn a wall spawn plane. Move the left thumbstick up and down to adjust the height of the wall, left and right to control the width. Move the laser to where you want to spawn the wall. Press the left index trigger to spawn a pivot point. Press the index trigger again to complete the wall. If you want to map a larger play area, make sure to visit the side quest page of FPS Enhanced Reality and click on the YouTube link. Press the lower hand trigger to disconnect the two points and draw a new wall. When mapping the walls, the most important step Make sure that there are no gaps in the wall leading to the outside. The player must be fully enclosed in their play space. Press X to finish. If you want to spawn more walls or objects, touch the floor, and while you're touching the floor, press X again. Now I am going to map all of the furniture. The furniture can be used as cover for the AI. Make sure that you have adequate lighting or the tracking will not work. If there is scene shift, make sure to check the lighting and reset the Guardian history at your starting position. Meta updates may impact the tracking. If you drew a wall by mistake and want to delete it, Touch Enable Right Hand Delete on the menu. Your right hand will now be used to delete walls. All wall spawning functions will be paused. To resume wall spawning functions, select Disable Right Hand Delete. If you would like to adjust the walls that you already placed, select the Right Hand Adjust tool. Select the Right Hand Adjust tool. Hold down the right hand secondary hand trigger to adjust the walls. You can rotate them by using the right hand thumbstick. If you would like to make the AI more intelligent, you can define the walls as either cover or walls. Touch all of the objects you spawned with the cover tool. Do not make the walls that you spawned cover. Go back to the wall placement menu. Once you are happy with your walls, walk back to your exact starting position and save and exit the app. Start the app again. Do not reset your view at this time.
if your scene is misaligned, you can grab the red hand with your right controller and drag it around to match your walls. You will get a second chance of doing this before you play the game. Select yes with your left hand. When transitioning to the game, the walls move slightly forward. Take two steps back and adjust the walls using your left hand touch joystick. Match the virtual walls to your physical walls. You can rotate all the walls using your right hand joystick, but I recommend against doing that unless your walls have shifted angles. Press basic setup. Use the right or left hand triggers to grab the weapons. Make sure to allow at least two feet when grabbing the weapons. Press B to access the ammo menu, and B again to close it. Your experience will depend on the size of your play space. The smaller the play space, there are less areas for the enemy to spawn, meaning the enemy can spawn right next to you. We can see the enemy taking cover of where we defined our cover object. If you die, walk to your starting position and face the direction that the tape arrow is facing. Press start to begin the next round. If you took off the headset, played another VR game, and changed the bounce, you can continue where you left off if you follow the following steps. Walk to your starting position and reset the view in the direction that you start. Start the app and go to your save file. You must reset the guardian. Reset your Guardian history and redraw your Guardian. You must first start at your same starting position. You will notice that the scene has shifted. If you open up your save file and you notice the scene is completely shifted and the floor is not aligned, Point your laser at the red hand and adjust your walls. For any other questions, make sure to message me on SideQuest and I'll be happy to help. This game is best optimized for the Quest 2 and Quest Pro. I have not tested it for the Quest 1.